What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where it was a great 2021 for Alfa Romeo, maybe not, we'll see. In the past few hours, Alfa Romeo's press release has come out that defines 2021 as an extraordinary year for the Alfa Romeo car manufacturer, a year full of successes, etc, etc. And many sites reported that statement of a sort of news and this has created some confusion among the numerous fans of the Alfa Romeo car manufacturer, even in simple car enthusiasts. Many have been perplexed thinking about the various not so positive news that has followed one another over the months. And it actually seemed a bit of an exaggeration to define 2021 in this way. In fact, you can recall that 2021 was the year the Alfa Romeo range was reduced to just two vehicles, the Julia sedan and Stelvio SUV. Production has been produced to a minimum, mainly due to the semiconductor crisis, but also due to the drop in requests due to the end of the production of the Giulietta. Sales were also at its lowest ever, again, due to the lack of the Giulietta from the Bicione range. Now, the car that for a long time was the best seller in the range of the historic Milanese brand went out of production at the end of 2020. This obviously influenced the results of the Bicione, which in Italy in 2021 sold about 11,300 cars. But don't get it twisted. There were also many positive things. For example, the selling out of the Giulia GTA and GTAM, the Stelvio SUV proved to be a customer favorite in the combustion engine DSUV segment, and the same happened with the Giulia sedan. During the year, some special versions were presented, such as the 6C Veladeste and GT Junior, which made people talk about the Bicione for a long time. Another thing that would have made 2021 an unforgettable year is that 95% of Alfa Romeo customers would have expressed a high degree of satisfaction with the Milanese company's cars. Okay, so you gotta be optimistic, but honestly, it seems a bit too little to define 2021 as a year to remember and a fundamental one for the Bicione brand. Perhaps there would have been more to correctly define 2021 as a year of transition in a year where the new CEO Gianfilippo Imperato and his collaborations laid the foundations for the relaunch of Alfa Romeo in the premium segment of the car market, a relaunch that should begin in 2022 with the arrival on the market of the Alfa Romeo Tonale SUV and with the official confirmation of what will be the novelties that will enrich the Bicione range in the coming years when Alfa releases their product lineup roadmap. In fact, you have to recall that Imperato has promised a new car every year for at least what concerns five years. And you can be sure that the Bicione will surprise us and that it will relaunch in a big way in the coming years. And obviously everyone wishes that from their heart. But was 2021 an extraordinary year? On the end of the negative side, well, you're down to two models because you lost the Giulietta. That means a lack of sales. We also didn't get the reveal of the Alfa Romeo Tonale, which will relaunch the brand. That means we did not get the product roadmap as well. They will let us know what the brand is doing in the next five years. So with that said, that's the negative side. The positive side though, the Julia GTA and GTAM was sold out. All right, we got things like the 60 Veladeste and the GT Junior Special Editions, and we got the Julia Sedan and Stelvio SUV to be a favorite in their segment for combustion engines. So with that said, there's some good and there's some bad. Was it an extraordinary year? Is Alfa Romeo exaggerating or was it a good year? Let me know down in the comments below. You guys decide. I want to hear your opinions. So with that said, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in rankings. More people can see it and we can have a bigger discussion on if Alfa Romeo really had as good as a year as they said they did. Now with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate the love and support. Thank you so much now you guys can also check out the ron's rise merch in case you guys want hoodies long sleeve shirts t-shirts coffee mugs everything ron's rise is there i'm also on tiktok facebook instagram snapchat see everything i'm posting ferrari maserati and alfa mail that doesn't always make it here to the channel and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video with that said you guys be blessed have a great day and we will talk to you guys in the next ron's rise video peace